Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to PaulOnSports.com. It's Thanksgiving week. Get the turkey ready. We've got a bevy of NFL and college games for you to enjoy. But first, we'll go to Thanksgiving Day. We've got three games on tap. NFL does it right. They've been doing it for a long time on Thanksgiving Day. Red Grange, the legendary one, made his pro debut on this Thanksgiving Day tradition in 1925. And you know... The Lions and the Cowboys, it's Thanksgiving, it's their tradition. We go right to the action. Hey, first up, 0-11 Lions against the 10-1 Tennessee Titans. Tennessee coming off a loss. Let's not even bother with any analysis. Let's say Tennessee wins big, 31-23 over Detroit. And then we go down to Dallas. Another odd matchup. Seattle's not playing well, only a two-win team. And Dallas is looking to make a run to the playoffs. Dallas will take care of business quite easily. So while you're finishing that turkey leg and the drumstick, 34-20, I call it, for Dallas. Now, as the tryptophan has set in and the trimmings have filled you up and maybe an, an adult beverage or two you've enjoyed, you've got a late-night game, the best of the three. Arizona goes to Philadelphia. Look, folks, for some reason, Philadelphia is favored, so you've got to watch why I can't explain why they're not playing well, but I think they will this week. Arizona's got to come east. Not easy for a West Coast team this year. They haven't won a game on the East Coast, those West Coast teams. I say Philadelphia gets an upset. Well, they're favored, so it's not really an upset. But hey, Philadelphia gets a win. McNabb and company get back on track with a 24-20 score there. Hey, we got more football. Saturday, Kentucky travels to Tennessee. It's the border war here. Uh, they go down to Tennessee, and if any time is right, if there's one season that UK, I think, is better than Tennessee, this is it. They haven't beaten Tennessee since 1984. Against my better instincts, I'm going to pick Kentucky, actually. I thought two weeks ago they'd beat them. Then I didn't think so after that performance against Vanderbilt, and Tennessee beats Vanderbilt, so logic says Tennessee should win, but you know what? My buddy Jeremy's convinced me. Take care, of, uh, take care of the Kentucky fans this week. All right, it's a Thanksgiving treat. Kentucky wins 30-27 in a close one. Finally getting that win over Tennessee. Now on to Sunday, uh, a couple more games. We've got Cincinnati uh, playing, and they're hosting Baltimore. Cincinnati can't be playing any worse. The Ravens come into town, and sorry, Erica, they're going to lose again. The Cincinnati Bengals will go down to defeat. We call it 28-17 for Baltimore. And then finally, Indianapolis has to go to Cleveland, playing some tough weather conditions up at Cleveland Stadium. I think that Indianapolis is playing as good a football as they have all year, and I think they take care of business easily in Cleveland, 27-21. Hey, for all my picks and predictions for the week, just uh, come back right here, paulonsports.com, and click on the link below for your comments or suggestions. We look forward to having a happy Thanksgiving and see you next week, everybody.